I'm John, and today we're going to study phrasal verb stories in class. Before we start, here are some tips. First, watch and listen to the story. During the story, try to guess the phrasal verb meanings from the context. Next, answer the quiz questions after the story. Then, watch and listen to the story again so you can understand the verbs. After the second listen, there are explanations and extra examples. Finally, leave a comment below and practice. I'm your YouTube teacher. In class. In history class, the teacher encourages students to speak up if they have ideas. Occasionally, the class pairs up for group projects to look into the details of history. Most students jot down important notes during the lectures, and then the teacher hands out an activity to reinforce the knowledge. Finally, the teacher always wraps up the class with a motivational quote related to the lesson to inspire students. Quiz time! Pause the video for each question. The teacher encourages students to speak up. What does speak up mean? Participate. Give a speech. Be silent. Take notes. That's right, it's A. Participate. The class pairs up for group projects. What does pair up mean? Separate. Form pairs. Participate. Do work. That's right, it's B. Form pairs. They looked into the details of history. What does look into mean? Read. Watch. Work. Investigate. That's right, it's D. Investigate. Most students jot down important notes. What does jot down mean? Remember, study, write quickly, read loudly. That's right, it's C, write quickly. The teacher hands out an activity. What does hand out mean? Take away. Distribute. Put in a box. Give for homework. That's right, it's B, distribute. Finally, the teacher wraps up the class. What does wrap up mean? Give a present. Start the class. Conclude the class. Give homework. That's right, it's C. 
conclude the class. Let's apply it. Watch the video again with the definitions. Repeat the story with me to help you memorize. After, you can see more examples and write your own sentences in the comments section. Let's go. In history class, the teacher encourages students to speak up if they have ideas. Occasionally, the class pairs up for group projects to look into the details of history. Most students jot down important notes during the lectures, and then the teacher hands out an activity to reinforce the knowledge. Finally, the teacher always wraps up the class with a motivational quote related to the lesson to inspire students. Examples. If you have a question in a meeting, it's always a good idea to speak up. In dance class, the instructor asks everyone to pair up. I always jot down ideas when I have them, so I don't forget. At the end of the seminar, they hand out certificates to the participants. She likes to wrap up her day by reading a book. Phrasal verb extras. Speak up can mean participate, mention, or talk louder. Context is important. In pair up, the word up is generally used to help the language flow better. Jot is another word for write, only faster. Write down is a similar phrasal verb. We can't use jot for typing, only writing. Hand is a verb that is almost the same as give. Handout is distribute. Give out is generally for free things. Wrap up is very common and generally means finish quickly. Separation. We can separate some phrasal verbs. We have to memorize the verbs we can separate. This is a very difficult skill to learn, and there's no easy way except practice. It's best to repeat what you hear and hope to learn naturally. A great place to practice is the comment section. We can separate, pair up, pair them up, jot down, jot it down, hand out, hand them out, wrap up, wrap it up. We can't separate, speak up, look into. Extra examples. Even though she's shy, she decided to speak up in the meeting. The teacher paired them up for the activity. Can you jot his number down for me? The volunteers will hand the flyers out at the entrance. The manager wraps the meeting up with a quick summary. Thanks for watching and thank you channel supporters. Please like, share, and subscribe. And see you in the next lesson.